In this video, I'm going to be giving you my simple Trips Tight End offensive ebook, and it's going to be free for you. Now, this is a simple ebook to get you started into the Trips Tight End formation. It's meant to only contain five key play setups for you. And if you want to dive deep into the Trips Tight End formation and learn the rest of this ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. The link will be in the description of this video. You can click on that and go sign up to get the entire Trips Tight End ebook. It also comes with all of my math. Madden 22 and Madden 23 ebooks as long as you're a member. So just 10 bucks gets you access to the Patreon page and you can get everything over there. Now, with that being said, I want to dive into this breakdown and I wanted to kind of talk about first um, the, the audibles for the trips tied in offense. And this is very, it's a very simple offense, but what makes this so special is the fact that it is simple. And again, as you get deeper into the game, you need to understand some of the core basic principles. So that being said, we really don't need to set audibles at all. Um, the only audible that I would set, and this is primarily if you do not have tight end apprentice, it's very important that I say that if you do not have tight end apprentice, the only other audible that I think you need to set is the play Pat's Y N. And Pat's YN is also a good play, even if you do have tight end apprentice or outside apprentice, but it's very good, especially if you don't. And this is going to be kind of in an order in terms of an offensive philosophy. And I think in offense, what you need, in my opinion, is you need a power play, you need a counter play, you need a three headed rushing attack, which is our quick base. We also need some type of constraint theory play to ensure that we're living in a perfect world. In this example, verticals is going to be our constraint theory play. PA slot corner will be our counter play. Base is going to be our three to rushing attack. Pat's YN is going to be our man beater. And then we're going to come out in the play PA counter go. And that is going to be our power play. It's our play that we must make go. It's our play that we will make go. And it's a play that we will run again and again and again. That being said, let's jump into the breakdown. So very simple um here all we're going to do is we're going to flat scotty miller we're going to in route mike evans and we're going to streak rob gronkowski the beauty of this play action play is it's got the best pass protection i think personally in the game and your main read is going to be this crossing route it's going to force your opponent to have to put some type of zone drop over on the right side of the field now when they start to over commit to the right side of the field let me just give you a brief illustration of a way that they might do that is essentially this cover four drop this is a great way to stop this play the base aligned quarter uh, does do a decent job of stopping this crosser and it's going to force me to have to check down right there so if that's how they're going to play defense then we can go to our counter play and in this offense our counter play is pa slot corner now my favorite way to set this up is to um, take the triangle receiver scotty miller and we're going to put him on a streak and then what i like to do with mike evans is put him on a zig and then i'm going to curl rob gronkowski this is going to give me a great couple of different routes and it's going to basically force your opponent into a double mabel style of defense which is going to lead into our constraint three play which we'll get into in just a second let me show you that one more time again this is going to beat cover three cover for any zone in the game it's going to really do a good job against zone coverage and it will beat man to man if you're concerned about man i like to put my tight end on an like a basically just a simple in route or something i don't like to call this play against man um but i can call this play against man okay so i have another play that i prefer if i know they're in man or if they're consistently running man we probably won't run this if they do run man our check down route is really our tight end so if we have him on an in route this is a very good man beater as well and again we're going to force them to be in a double flat defense where they're having hard flats and deep flats that are zone dropped and there's really once you do that you can't have a lot of people in the middle of the field which is going to lead me to our constraint play my favorite way to attack the defense in terms of a constraint play is this play that i'm about to show you from um, the play verticals and there's a couple different variations of this but my favorite um, is what i'm about to show you so 
we're going to put cloud flats on the outside and then we're going to put those hard flats to kind of have that double flat style um, of defense and then all that's left in the middle of the field is a maybe if we're lucky one yellow zone and then one user zone okay that's the basics of a double flat typically speaking if they're in a cover three they're not going to have anyone other than their user over the middle okay that's really important to understand so let's just simulate this with a cover three defense and we'll have our user in the middle of the field where he is going to be forced to choose am i going to guard the right side of the field or am i going to guard the left side of the field and we're going to set up a route combination that is going to force him to choose Verticals is a really simple setup here. There's actually a couple of different ways that we can set this play up. But honestly, my favorite way to set this up is I like to curl Chris Godwin. I like to hitch Scotty Miller. I like to zig Mike Evans. And then on the back side here, we can just leave this play as is. Or if you want to, I like to streak the running back again so that we can attack those double flat style of defenses. And what you'll see here is my hitch on the left is going to absolutely destroy this. And as you can see, we're able to move the ball up the field for a quick, you know, 15 or so yards. Now, let's say that our let's say that their user decides that they don't want to give that up. OK, so they don't want to give up the hitch on the right or the curl on the right. And so in order to stop this, they're going to have to take their user and run over to this left side of the screen. If they do that, then my favorite thing to do is to hit this simple almost every single time this little uh, streak will be wide open right in this pocket. Another route that is really good. Let's say that they're let's say that they're going to do something like this where they're going to play um, cover four with a you know a 30 yard cloud and a 10 yard underneath zone over here and then they're going to use her over here why because again we can hit that hitch all day let's just say they're going to play a defense like this and you are playing this and you're running the verticals play another thing that you'll have is you'll have this streak and this little nice corner route that is really good against pretty much anything outside of or pretty much any tendency that you're going to have it's a great tendency buster um, another route that you could use is wheeling the running back if you don't like to streak him you can always do a simple wheel um, that is really good as well but you see how this can just break down any defense in the game now that that takes us to kind of our next key play which is at this point they're going to be dropping everybody back in coverage and so we want to have something like a quick base that we can snap and just run the ball now with the the beauty of the quick base is one of the best runs in the game and what makes this run so good is its ability to be ran outside to the left as you can see right here i'm running it outside um, if the holes open up that way Another thing that makes us run really good is its ability to be ran and cut in the middle. As you can see, I can attack the middle of the field. And then the last thing that I like to actually do with this base is there is a, a, a kind of a cutback lane right in that little pocket right there. And so I'm able to attack the left, the middle, and the right with one running play. You can also do this with the inside zone um, if you want to. If they're really giving you that right side, you can come out in the counter play from the troops tied in as well but the foundational run that everything hinges upon is this quick base now that takes us to really our last key play to talk about and that is what do you do if your opponent is doing man-to-man -man coverage or match coverage um and this is where i love this concept now one of people a lot of people really like this year to take this safety and put them in an inside quarter and just to illustrate real briefly for you why they like this is if i'm running my pa counter go setup you'll see that this is going to create a match concept where that guy is going to guard this crosser now you see there i can aggressive catch that but if you're playing someone with a good user they will be able to defend that that will also guard the deep corner from pa slot corner so they can kind of get a lot done with that crosser which leads us to Pat's YN, our man beater. Now, why this is such a good man beater is a couple of different reasons, but it's really simple um, what we're going to do. And what I like to do personally is to zig Chris Godwin, slant 
Scotty Miller, and then out route Bernard. And I feel like this gives you the most bang for your buck. Your out route to the back is going to be, man, if they're not pressing you, um, this route to Godwin will get open a lot. You also, your slant will get open. This post route to Gronkowski is really good man beater. And then this post route to Mike Evans as well. And so what you'll see here is if it's man to man, we're just trying to make a read and hit whoever we want to hit. Now, this is also really, really good if, let's say, for example, that they are in some type of, you know, heavy, let's just say they're in a man blitz. And just for purpose of simplicity here, we're just going to blitz both of these linebackers and we're going to put this guy in man coverage on that guy. And then we're going to use her, this guy over the middle. So this is a straightforward, kind of like a 335 wide style of blitz. What makes this really good against the blitz, especially man blitzes, is you have this quick out that a lot of times will get man-to-man -man separation, especially if you have backfield master. But another thing that makes this this play um, this play really good against the blitz is you have this quick slant on the left side that should give you pretty good separation as well. So you have the quick slant, you got the zig, you got that as well. I don't know why Gronkowski's not catching the ball, but anyways, um, this is a very very good man beater. Press man is, is I think, personally just the best way to play man this year. Another variation of this that you can do is something like this. This is a really fun play as well. And it's really more so if they're shading inside and underneath. This wheel, if there's no safety help, can beat man to man over the top uh, for a one play score. So if you ever are getting a lot of shaded down press man, this is a great option as well. But this is one of my favorite plays, and it kind of complements the whole scheme um, really well because it can beat every coverage in the game. And also, one of the things that I really like about it is it goes perfectly with our PA counter go setup. It goes perfect. It's very good for beating max uh, double Mabel zone drops. So that's one of the reasons as to why I love this offense. But anyways, this has been just a very simplified, whittled down version of the trips tight end offense. If you would like to learn the full version of this offense, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up, get you access to all of our Madden eBooks. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, be sure to head to the description and click the link down in the description below.